Hey guys, how's it going? Kripari in here. I uh, couldn't be here for the uh, first two videos of this patch because uh, we try to get this out as fast as possible for you guys and I typically do the uh, third and fourth and so on videos uh, after the all day stream. So that's where I'm at right now. It's going to be a busy week for me. A lot of streaming this new patch and we got some uh, new PoE League at the end of the week Friday afternoon. So a lot of streaming. I'm probably streaming right now if you guys want to come check out the stream. I'd appreciate it. Anyway, on to the Battleground stuff. So yes, we had a big new patch. We had Nagas come in, the Spellcraft mechanic. It looks a little bit confusing uh, if you haven't done it before, but honestly, um, best way to play Battlegrounds is just take a lighthearted approach. Uh, do some games. If you don't know what you're doing, don't worry about it. Uh, you'll learn as you go. You know, watch some Crip, fill in the blanks. You're all set after a little while. That's the idea anyway. And, uh, yeah, lighthearted approach is definitely the way to enjoy Hearthstone, in my opinion. In any case, um, buddies are gone, which um, simplifies things uh, because the buddies are still pretty crazy, even for someone like me that played all the time. And with the buddies gone, um, you can kind of focus a little bit more on the new cards. There's a number of changes in addition to Nagas, but Nagas are in. It's another minion type, and because it's another minion type, there are now four banned minion types in any game, uh, which actually uh, is pretty good. Uh, it does make most games feel pretty different from one another, if not for one not so minor detail that Nagas are overpowered as hell. And they are. Nagas are absolutely insane. Um, I think that, like, it's one of those things where, because it's a totally new way to play, um, if they're really good on day one, and they are really good on day one, I feel like they'll be even better later on. Uh, most of the other builds, yes, there's changes. Yes, there's changes to the synergy between the different types. Um, but I do feel like Nagas are probably really overpowered. Um, and to show you guys what I'm talking about, I want to give you guys, this is just like, so the MMR is really low because, well, they did an MMR reset as well, but they don't reset your internal MMR. Let's forget about that stuff. Don't worry about the numbers on the screen. Uh, this is just me playing my normal account. It's not like a new account smurfing people playing for the first time. It, well, I was playing kind of for the first time as well. This is like the third game. Uh, I played this patch, um, and I did not play the Nagas like with any kind of Blizzard event or anything. I, I don't know. I did a card reveal, but that was literally the only card that I knew existed um, until everyone else knew about, well, the entire patch. Anyways, turns out Naga are really busted, and today I want to show you guys uh, the most one-sided game I played all day. So, hope you guys enjoy it, and we'll see you tomorrow. Ambassador, Tamsin... Sarfang. Sarfang is just attack. I think I'll do Ambassador. Because Ambassador can level quickly, and now leveling is a little bit stronger than before. He can discover a 2 before other players get them. And he can discover a 6 before other players. That's really, really good. Seven new enemies have appeared before you. It is time to show them your power. Are Naga's banned? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, okay. Cool. Remember, do not hold back. Your enemy will not hesitate. Oh, AFK, hello. Nice, nice. Minions coming back to life after every death? This game is tremendous. Can see it? No, 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 I can make it work. I can make it work. Okay, I can make it work. Hmm, so you do have potential. I have obtained some new minions for you to peruse. All right. Do I like buddies being gone? Uh, the game is definitely very different right now, and I really like that. Um, I wouldn't really be able to answer that question until, like, maybe 10 hours from now. 
The newness definitely overwhelms the lack of buddies, but I don't know how short-lived that might be. Strategy appears to be paying off. I have obtained some new minions for you to peruse. Wow, that freeze was like three seconds after I did it. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, I think there is some some weird lag happening. It's not like it didn't register. Sometimes it doesn't register like the clicks in the game, but it did register. It just did it three seconds later. You are a force to be feared. There's no doubt who's the best hero in the game right now. Queen Ashara. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. I actually doubt that a little bit. I think leveling quickly and getting some of the, the big scaling Nagas early is, is a really big deal. But the, the power level of these heroes are based on averages, so... Exact same shit. I don't think I've even seen one Naga offered to me, so... I mean, yeah, okay, it's the exact same shit right now, but just relax. It's not that hard to transition into other versions of the build. Mm, so you do have potential. Damn it. I can't believe I didn't win or get it. Like, that's that's insane. Die is an inconvenience. That's pretty good. I hate leg day. Do I want to go with a five? I think I might go with a six. I'm actually going to go with a six next turn. We have 44 health. There's a damage cap. I might lose here, but it shouldn't be that bad. Sell two. Yeah, but next turn I'm going to sell two. The, the cost to go to 5 changed back to what it was, so for 8 gold, I can level, sell the boar and the road boar. And if I get, like, a... a not a Malgadon, the, the other pirate, the one that they normally use, uh, that's pretty good. And, um, actually an amalgam would be really nice, because I could give a divine shield after Eliza, yeah. Uh, and there is that one card that uh, generates Nagas, so it would be really good with the Sirens. I'd just freeze again. Your, uh, strategy appears to be paying off. Holy shit. Those are some really lucky hits. Oh my god. That was perfect RNG. Didn't miss a beat. I could not have been luckier. Your study is okay. Paying off. So this is a little YOLO, but... I mean, there's a damage cap and we have a lot of health right now. Oh my god. I think we're gonna go with Naga Discovery. Oh my god. Yes. The Peggy buffs the Amalgam, and we discover like crazy starting next turn. All right. I might actually level again, because this this helps with stabilizing if I level. Go fill a lottery now. Oh, uh, okay. Forcing Nagas again. Forcing? What do you mean forcing? Do you guys understand how ridiculous this combo is? You are doing well. It doesn't matter that much. Go right. Yes! Alright. I think I could have won, but I think I needed to get quite a lot like here, so that's that's fine. See, the reason why I want to level here is, um, actually, no, I can't, I can't, I can't do it. 
Never mind. After you cast the spell, gain plus one, plus one. Um, suppose that is early enough. Choose your victims. Bristle back. Minions. Minions. <laughs> Choose them wisely. That's a spell. Holy lag. I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to pump that one though. Okay. I guess I might have to sell the pup bot. So it'll double trigger the Argoza, which will double trigger the Peggy onto the Amalgam, which will also double trigger that. Oh wow, glow scale's ridiculous. That other one sucks though. That's so lucky. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this luck, dude? That's, that's insane combat RNG. Like, again. Oh my god! There is no stopping me. She sells seashells. Lava Lurker. Uh, yeah. A gift for Ashara. I'm a little bit concerned on the board lock. You think it's too late for the Lurker? The thing is, I could I could give it a divine shield. I'm getting rid of Peggy, but I have multiple cards I want to play. You tread on sacred ground. Stay still, you minions. Like the scaling here is so absurd. Mm, so you do have potential. Mm -hmm. Very average luck. Oh, we got a triple. Sweet. Your study is paying off. Could have done that first, I guess. Uh, this minion will serve you well. Choose your victims. Uh, min minions. Quiet. Choose them wisely. Choose your victims. Uh, minions. Minions. <laughs> Choose them wisely. Who leaves this junk in our sea? Amazing. Three health and taunt. Kind of like fill my hand a bit hard, I would say, but we'll see. Yeah, the the siren with the glow scale is two divine shields, effectively. Two nagas are so fucking broken. This is like turn nine or something. I don't know what AFK has, but AFK is gone. Okay, leave it. The chance that AFK lives through this is none. I don't, I don't have to look at what, what she has. This is yeah. Actually, Leroy is trying to like out scam me here, but even even with Leroy. The, no chance. Like, <laughs> and we bulldoze this shitty pirate build with Avenge Battle Cries into the floor. No. Now 
not do it again. Whichever minion you pick, make sure that we really just got to try to break the board lock. Whichever and minion we did. you pick, make sure they respect your power. Don't put shield on that. Get a coin. It's a spell and for one gold, one gold a spell is not bad actually. I'm gonna be locked until I get another triple, so two Naga. Um yeah, I guess the amalgam might break the lock a little bit. That's crap. Alright. Yeah, this is the new bartender I killed the Zed. Naga scaling faster than Quillbore. I don't know, I haven't really tried Quillbore. Am I supposed to try Quillbore? <laughs> this is uh this is another one of those like forty damage situations. Oh, I'm sorry. It's 39. Your study is paying off. Holy shit. Its soul is powerful. Tempting. She sells seashells. Got it. Board lock broken. I don't think and I don't think an opponent has killed a card in like three rounds, dude. Or we're just like obliterating every single player right now. Again. Yeah, that's all right, I guess. Ooh. Okay, let's uh, let's clear the hand then. Choose your victims. Minions, minions, <laughs> choose them wisely. Power like that will devastate your foe. Oh. The sea swarms with my soul. I think I'm actually going to play this first.
Dude, this lag is not appreciated right now. Choose your victims and minions. Minions. <laughs> Choose them wisely. Okay. You are at the top of your class. I think we're going to have another one of those uh, not killing anything type of situations. Is that four in a row? Did this guy beat the ghost? Let's have a look. No, he did not. He did not beat the ghost. I am actually going to... Cycle. I suppose I can give you a gold for it. The rumors whisper of your demise. She sells seashells. Choose your victims and minions. Minions. <laughs> Choose them wisely. <laughs> a gift for Ashara. Good try. Good try. Good effort. Yep. I believe that's uh, five or six rounds in a row where no opponent has killed a single card. Me, me. Died to the ghost that I killed. Died to Tess. I killed him. I only... I only missed the kill on one player. That might be one of the most one-sided games I have ever played. I know it wasn't like a uh, spicy pretzel mustard or whatever, but like that's basically as close as, as it gets with this hero. <laughs> this is so insane. 39, 39, 39, 39, 39. Can you believe I got first place?